I'd like to thank you, Mr. President, for talking directly to the people today. You're welcome, young man. You're the friendly press, not fake news. I'm friendly to a fault, sir, and this is awesome. So you're building a wall on the border with Mexico. How tall will it be? Bad hombres can purchase ladders that go up to 24 feet, so our wall will be 26 feet, which is huge. I thought you could buy ladders that go up 30 feet and more. No, only 24 feet. That's what I'm told. Our wall will be beautiful, tremendous, and exactly the correct height. No government waste. And we hear that you're stationing soldiers around Area 54 in New Mexico. Can you tell us what is going on in Area 54? We call it Area 94 now. That's because it's bigger and more impressive. So we had to change the name to Area 94. And we can't say another thing because it's a gigantic secret. Everyone knows how amazing the secrets are. I really shouldn't be telling you this, but we have things there that you would not believe. I barely believe them myself. I can tell you that. Do you feel like you've finally gotten your administration running on all cylinders? From the start, our administration has run like a fine Swiss watch, except watches aren't made in Switzerland anymore. All watches are now made by bad hombres in Mexico. Also, Switzerland was attacked last night by 17 Volvos full of bloodthirsty Islamic terrorists. Everyone knows that. Look it up. Can you tell us about the outlook for new jobs in America? Yes, jobs are pouring back into the country. Soon we'll be opening new coal mines in Michigan and Wisconsin. Go Packers. And I'm hearing great things about all the new jobs from my black brothers in the inner cities. Most of them were being murdered, and now they're building things. Big things, beautiful things. You wouldn't believe it. Fake news isn't telling you about any of that, are they? Can you explain why Montana and Wyoming both have three electoral college votes when Montana has twice the population of Wyoming? That just isn't right. Montana deserves more. I'll have Congress fix that. You know, I won 540 electoral college votes. It was the biggest win in history, more than George Washington or even George Foreman. It was fantastic. The media doesn't tell you that, do they? Okay, we're done here. Thank you for visiting with us today, Mr. President. I hope you make America great again. I will make America the greatest it's ever been. Really, really, really great. Believe me. Good job. This will play tomorrow on Russian TV.